Love to unlock up. Let's discuss my favorite couple, Gabby and Chris. Not. Yeah. <laughs> For Valentine's Day, Big V Day, V Day. <laughs> I'm being silly. Right before Valentine's Day, this is another episode of Love During Lockup. We're going to talk about what has gone on with Gabby and Chris on episodes 65 and 66. We TV got some weird, weird way they number their episodes and they seasons. Just bizarre. Just, just bizarre. But uh, we're going to talk about what happened to them. I didn't do them last week, so we're doing them this week. Like, share, subscribe, comment below. Look in the description box. I have 20% off on my, I have three online stores. You get 20% off with the code CARD20. And here we go. So, we're going to discuss my favorite couple, my favorite couple, Gabby and Chris. In, the, in episode 65, uh, not much didn't happen. Uh, Gabby is still suspicious, so she goes and asks Chris's brother. I forgot the brother's name. Like, is he cheating? How does he feel? First of all, Okay. <laughs> first of all, first of all, rule number one, you don't ever ask somebody's family members or friends about what they think about you, how they really feel, are they cheating on you, are they seeing somebody else? Because again, nine times out of, nine and a half times out of ten, they are not going to tell you the truth. They are not going to be honest with you against their own family member or friend or relative or, or, or child or whatever. Like, no, no one I know is going to really, besides me, like I would, I wouldn't rat out my child because I would do whatever's best for my kid. But depending on the circumstance, I might be like, yeah, you know, girl, you know, they playing you. But the brother was like, no, he's into you. He likes you. I don't, I don't know anything I know of. I'm just sitting there like rolling my eyes. Like, okay, girl, like you. This sounds sounds like shenanigans by We TV. Just shenanigans again. Shenanigans. We TV. I'll call shenanigans again. Cause y'all be y'all be setting little meetings up. All of that was pretty much pointless and unfruitful. So Gabby decides that she's gonna be there um when Chris get out or whether he's getting out or not. She still thinks that Chris's mom is lying. And so also she knows she really she has never met Chris's mom and sister. So she drives to wherever they're at to go meet them. And, and she's never met them in person. And of course, you're planning to marry somebody. Y'all all are going to be in the same family. So yeah, it is, you know. And plus, she wants to be nosy to see if, if, if Chris is, may have got out and pulled a, pulled a fast one on her. So she goes see uh, Felicia, which is uh, Chris's mom and Chris's sister. And they sit down and have a talk. And... um they, you know, she finds out that yes, and you know, Chris eventually has one of his homeboys call her and tell her that he is still locked up, that he was going to get out, but there's something about some more charges or something else happened. So no, he's not getting out when he's supposed, when he was supposed to. So Chris's mom isn't lying. Like she was actually telling the truth. Right. Okay. So, uh, but Gabby and Chris's mom, they talk, you know, and he's, you know, Chris's mom is telling her, you know, like. You know, it's it's about my son. It's about, you know, he's been in trouble. And the sister was telling Gabby, you know, he's been in trouble in his life. We're trying to make sure he stays straight and narrow. And, you know, yes, we're suspicious. But how can you not expect us suspicious? They were saying that Gabby pretty much came out of nowhere. That that And then she's up here spending a lot of his money for the 5000 engagement ring, the BMW. And she just spent like $30,000 allegedly. So, of course, yes, the family would be weary and upset because they really think that Gabby's just there for the money. Like, like, are you there for my son? Are you here for the money? And then, um, you know, Gabby's like, no, I, you know, I, I love him and I want to be with him or whatever, whatever, whatever. I don't know if Gabby and Chris are still together. Um, I've went online. Well, I have went online, but I know people posted things online that I try not to look at to spoil myself on these episodes. But Gabby then had a glow up. Like, I, I kudos, girl. Gabby, if you watching, girl, you watching. You, girl, I mean, yeah, Gab, Gabby, Gabby then had, then had, then had the glow up. Like, she looks like a whole nother person. Like, for real, if you haven't seen the pictures online on her Instagram, and uh, if you search for her, search, you know, Google search it, there's other people who posted pictures of her. She looks like a whole nother person. 
she's had like her lips done or maybe her boobs done. I don't know what all she's had done. But she got like a whole nother body because her body before was just like average. And now she, and I, I, like I said, people was hating on her. Like she got all this work done. Girl, if I had money, I would be up here looking like Meg Thee Stallion. Are you playing with me? Meg Thee Stallion. Just, just badunkadunk, just yeah <laughs> yeah like I, I i wouldn't be looking like a regular girl i'd be i'd be straight up straight up looking like you know it's looking like this a straight up model honey i mean you wouldn't even recognize me you'd be like is that the infamous kiki girl who's that is that her sister i don't even know <laughs> y'all wouldn't even recognize me so i'm not hating on anybody who goes out and get plastic surgery male and female because not only women go get plastic surgery men go get botox and chest injections and all kinds of stuff too so i'm tired of women just getting a stigma like i watched i watched them them reality shows with them like surgeons million dollar surgeons and they were doing men and women men and women inside and outside the industry they don't necessarily have to be a singer or actor or actress it was men and women that was getting stuff done so you know i i ain't, I ain't mad at it i ain't mad i ain't mad at none of that if you got it hey flaunt it and 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 gabby's looking good she's looking real nice but, um, so apparently she don't like, uh, Chris's mom and Chris's sister. And she was like, we need to get them out the picture. What? That's because Gabby, Gabby ain't got no, there's two things. Gabby ain't got no home training and Gabby ain't got no kids. Okay. That's two things right there. She ain't got no home training. She ain't got no kids. Um, Chris's mom is looking out for him because she's a parent. You know, she's worried about her child. She's concerned about her. She don't want her child to be used or taken advantage of. That would be any parent. It's something you really don't understand until you have children or you have some sense of maturity um, as you grow up. Uh, Gabby's young. So, yeah. But the idea that you just kind of push the mom and his family out of the picture. When I gave birth, I'm a mother. When I gave birth to this person. Okay, right. Let me tell, let me, let me, let me, let me do a PSA. Okay, let me look into the camera. To anybody that dates my son or daughter, if you think for one second you finna get my, my, Mama Kiki out the picture, keep it moving. Because <laughs> no matter how old I am and how old my children is, as long as I have breath on this earth, I will be in my kid's life. I don't care what chick or do they marry or get with or have kids with or don't have kids with or who they want to lay up with or whatever i gave birth to my children i'm invested in my kids lives and nobody's gonna love my children like i love my children care for my children like i care for my children i i don't care what some boyfriend or girlfriend or fiance or husband or wife says i don't care so that's a little psa from you know that might, somebody may see this in the future. And I'm just going to tell my kids, oh, you're dating? Let me hit this part of the video. And just go ahead, watch, watch, watch. Go ahead, watch, girl. Watch. Or watch, boy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you think you finna push me out the way. Right. There's no love like, like a parent's love. So for her to say that and trying to get the family, well, they just got to go. What? A girl, bye. Girl, bye. Like, that's the reason why Gabby be getting on my nerves. With all that, like, you know, I just, again, I, at the end of the day, number one, I'm a mother. So, I, I, I don't know what's going to happen when Chris get out of jail. That's the wild card in this situation. Like, all the other couples, I kind of see how kind of how it's going. But Chris and Gabby, I don't I don't know what's going on. I, I, I'm i really interested to see what's, what's, um, what's going to happen with them. But anyway, that's this recap of this couple, Love During Lockup. Like, share, subscribe, comment below if you have something to say. I usually try to holla, holla at you guys back. Uh, the more you like the video, the more you watch the video, interact with the video, it helps their algorithm out. I am out here trying to do things in my channel, changing things, trying to add things. <laughs> Your girl is trying, you know, making more entertainment for y'all, fine people. But I just feel like I'm cool. We having a conversation. We just talking about the show, girl or boy, you know. And so I just really thank y'all for my support. I'm almost up to 500 subscribers. I never thought I'd be up to 500 subscribers. So thank all of you who've subscribed in the past month. My subscriber, like I've gained like over 100 and something subscribers due to various reasons and other people's shows I've been on. So I just appreciate it. Thank y'all. And I do this just because I like it. My channel's not monetized, not eligible to be monetized. So I can pretty much say whatever I want to say right now. 
I can curse if I want to, but I try to keep it PG for y'all. I don't try to, you know, knock if you buck too much. Um, but that's it. Until next time, folks. Bye.